Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. The new CEO of the Youngstown City Schools, Chris Mohip, has basically decided to shut out the seven-member school board from making any future decisions concerning the district. In a two-minute and 23-second prepared statement at this evening's school board meeting, Mohip made it clear he was the boss and the school board will only be needed when he asks. A bold statement on who is in charge is our top story at 11. Youngstown Schools CEO Chris Mohip began his statement saying he'd been in charge for 90 days and now is the time to change how he interacts with the school board and the role it will play in the future of the school district. First, when the board meets. The next meeting of the board will be in one month. I will take the agenda under advisement. I will set the agenda and circulate it when I have it finalized. At all future meetings, the school system's chief academic advisor and treasurer will submit reports and recommendations directly to MOHIP, who will then, without board input, decide whether to accept them. And then came MOHIP's directive to school board members on how he plans to work with them. The board may also have an opportunity to advise me on certain issues as I deem appropriate, but only when I specifically ask for the input. The school board members sat and listened. They did not know MOHIP's changes were coming. No one commented until after the meeting was over. The board has two meetings scheduled within the next month. And we adopted meetings at the beginning of the year, and I do believe we still have the right to have those meetings throughout this year. Whether he's there or not? Yes but hopefully he would be there if we're working together. But the idea that the board as a whole, even in its voice, its very voice is going to be shut down, I don't think that bodes well for the relationship between the district and the community. Do you think the school board is dysfunctional and that the meetings are a waste of time? Um, I wouldn't say dysfunctional and a waste of time, but I think there's, um, I, I think we could definitely um, Maybe set this up just a little bit differently. So, you know, we don't necessarily need to meet three times a month. We can meet one time a month. We could really use our expertise when needed. Otherwise, we're going to rely on our internal team to make the changes that, that need to occur. Now, School Board President Brenda Kimball said that by law, the school board will decide whether to accept a 15-year, 100% tax abatement requested through the city of Youngstown for a new downtown hotel. But CEO Chris Mohip said it is his decision. He told me previously he will decide on the tax abatement before Youngstown City Council meets again next Wednesday. We have Chris Mohip's entire statement to the school board on our website, wkbn.com.